Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So you may have noticed that sometimes on your buff bar in the top left you might get like this. We have two of a stack of this buff and that doesn't seem possible. It's Maiden's Blade and it's not just that. I'll go over a little bit later. This bonus comes from this chest piece and it says it gives us 5% more damage when we're not facing our enemy which we attack and that can be increased to 10% within Master Temple of the Spider. And you might be asking, how the heck do I have two of those stacks then? And is that even anything other than a visual bug? Well, let's get that tested out. There are also two other bonuses, which is like Swordsman's Park from like this new ring. You have much older rings also have the exact bonus and Sniper's Perk, which you may also see giving you two of those stacks. So again, the way we test this is just against, first of all, our Chult Dummy. We can do it by stripping our character down so we don't get any variable damage, and we attack the dummy, and we get our damage from here, within the front of the dummy. And with our test results, we were matching the damage, so we could have that right there. Then you need to go behind the dummy, which is actually very nice. You literally only have to be like maybe 10 degrees from 180, right? Basically on the side behind. So like just here and you will gain that full bonus. And with that, we can see it was indeed giving us the extra 5% damage from behind our target the damage values again were matching. Then we waited to get our Maiden's Blade times two. How you exactly get that, I'll explain in a little bit later, but we wanted to test it. Does it actually give you any additional damage or is it just visual? And very interestingly, it does indeed give you full 10% damage there. You can see the damage values increased with this being our math from our Excel sheet. So that's pretty cool. But that doesn't mean it's going to give you like a 20% extra damage because again, you can read through that and basically the value doubles in Underdark. So we went to our Temple of the Spider and we went and tested it within there. Now, as soon as you die or switch instance or anything, like for example, I defeat me right here, you end up, yeah, resetting that. So we now only have one Maiden's Blade. That's just like one second, it just keeps refreshing. And apparently there's some bug where after a certain amount of time, that ends up being two stacks. And very interestingly, we found out that it's exactly 17 minutes of which you have to be within a zone in, or an instance without dying in order for that to trigger. So that would be long enough just before you get to like the last boss in MTOS if you're in a, a moderate group, maybe AFK here or there before each of the bosses fill your action points, etc. So that's very feasible to get that bonus before the end. Of course, you'll have to not die, no pressure. And then there's the whole decision of, do you actually use this armor piece or not compared to, let's say, yeah, having something which would give you like 15% more stats. And we'll showcase the data on that in just a sec, but we had to test out in the Temple of the Spider just to make sure it's actually giving like 20% damage when you have two of those stacks. And well, it actually does. So we again tested in Temple of the Spider, got our base damage, then we tested from behind. It wasn't as easy because we have to be behind these the targets that we're attacking. And uh, well, if we're alone, they're all attacking me. And so we had to like shift behind them and attack them, managed to get that damage value, which was, in, which was high higher than what we're seeing with our base there, which was equivalent to what we would see with a increase of 10% to our damage buffs. And then we did it with the 20%, which again is what we were seeing with another increase of 10%. So 20% increase from like 23% to 43%, which is just, that's just crazy. Um, I'm making this video just to bring out the awareness of it because, yeah, I don't think this should stay in the game. It's nice and all, but it's kind of silly. It's just going to encourage people to be freaking AFK to end up getting this bonus to be competitive with damage and then end up just dying and having that reset. It's not something I would rely on. And the time to trigger, again, we tested that there multiple times and it seems to be about 17 minutes. And yeah, it works not just on this 
this Dark Maiden's Raid coat, it also works on the ranged and melee damage bonus rings, meaning you could end up with a 6% damage buff from them, not just a 3%. You'd never use both of them like this, this is a bit stupid. You would depend on your class which one you would use, whether abilities are melee or ranged. I personally don't like the rings, you're better off just going with the stat rings, to be honest, getting more stats, increasing all your damage rather than just a specific part of it, because it's very unlikely that all all your damage will be considered ranged or all of it be considered melee and thus you don't actually gain the bonus and with this whole waiting of 17 minutes before you actually gain it at gain that extra stack and then on top of that it resetting when you die it's not reliable as for this armor piece would you use it even if it's just giving you 10 percent well it's very close what you ideally want to do is get all your stats up so that you basically have 90% power, 90% combat advantage, 90% crit strike and crit severity without having your armor piece. And then what does that leave you with? Just getting like 15% accuracy from your armor piece. Of course, you'll gain like, yeah, 7.5% combat advantage and 7.5% accuracy, but you'll move something over to gain accuracy instead of combat advantage. That's how you stat balance. And then you can see the difference would be like this compared to a 15% increase in accuracy with a mythic armor piece to a 10% increase in damage with the Dark Maiden's armor. And if you're at about these values, you can see the difference is next to nothing. So it's your call. And ultimately, I would prefer something that's more reliable. I do prefer something that's going to give me a bonus regardless if I'm attacking something, regardless if I have to do an additional hit for 15% of or 10% of my maximum hit points or something, because that means I have to basically do encounter powers or I have to wait a little bit before I can do my big burst. I can't just go straight in and do my burst or when I'm switching a target, I can't like have to wait for, let's say, a barrel to spawn. And then when it does, I move over over and then I have to get some stacks and then once I do my burst I won't have my maximum damage for it and so it can be more reliable but to be honest it's not a big deal not a big deal at all you can see the difference there is next to nothing and it's up to you whether you want to focus on that reliability or if you're okay sticking with something which you would gain stacks from again for aoe would i consider this any good it depends how good your tank is at positioning ideally the tank will end up on the opposite side of the ads than you and thus they shouldn't be facing you and thus you would gain the damage against them and anything else like this one again do you have to do hits of 10 percent of your max hp is just not really feasible to maintain in an aoe environment you're jumping between ad groups and if you're not dealing enough with your aoe powers you just don't get any stacks from these or you just don't get maintain them one side is though the sharp jacket is a pretty big appeal with regards to not requiring anything with those stacks other than attacking the problem is the crit severity we have too much on a wizard for that really to be feasible here we have a bonus of a feat which gives us 10 percent a feature which gives us 10 percent and then we have the decision to take boots which give us 10 thousand yeah too much crit severity on the wizard that's a, a big problem but it's a reliable armor piece and it's definitely a option and definitely viable to use. I'm personally looking at switching my build up again a little bit. I still am trying to get the combat advantage ring there to go here and then I'll probably switch to the Mithalar set. I am still testing that and I will check how it goes. I'll keep you posted and hopefully this was somewhat insightful to you guys. Just to note what's up with those times two buffs. You may have seen it yourself before. Is it just visual or is it real? Well, it's real. It actually gives you double the amount of damage. Pretty nuts. A massive thank you again to all of these channel members for their added support. I'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.